Are these the five best freeware plane add-ons for Microsoft Flight Sim? Well, they are the most popular because they're the most downloaded on flightsim.to, but today we're gonna take a look at each one and see if they're really the best. As a caveat, these don't include planes that just modify planes that already exist, such as the Fly-by-Wire A320. But let's get started. First up is the Global 6000. This is, in theory, the fifth most downloaded freeware plane on flightsim.to, if my math is correct, not including planes that already exist in the sim. So this plane Plane, I actually kind of enjoy this plane a lot. Now, this interior is not great, but it is a lot of fun to fly. And as far as, you know, the limited private jets we already have in the sim, this one's not too bad. As you can see, you know, not the greatest textures and it's a little bit Whatever's going on there is a little bit weird, but uh, we're going to fly this thing out of Van Nuys. We're going to go land it real quick. That's what we'll do with each one. We'll take a look at the uh, the textures, give it a short little flight and uh, some final thoughts on each one, and then we'll go on to the next one. As you can see, exterior textures are, you know, kind of subpar. But from a distance, it does look really good. So as you can see behind me, there's also another plane. It's called the E E something. Anyway, this comes with two planes. We're going to look at the Global 6000 today. Let's go ahead and take off here. Parking brake off. Throttle up. This plane's a lot of fun. The uh, the Global Series in general is one of my favorite private jets, so it's cool that this is in the sim. I don't. I would assume the physics are taken from another plane, and you know, all that jazz like uh, a lot of mods are. There's 90 knots. There's 100. About 110. Let's see if we can rotate. Come on. There we go. And we are off the ground at Van Nuys Airport. Gear up. It feels really good to fly. If you've ever flown this plane, you know it feels really good. I think this plane has 50-some thousand downloads. Our number one plane has over 500,000. So if you want to see what the most downloaded plane ever as far as mods are, you know, feel free to skip ahead. Okay, we got some flaps. Let's get our gear out. We're probably going too fast. For all. Yeah, we're definitely going too fast, but we're going to deal with it. See how the speed brakes look? There they are coming out. And this thing has reverse thrust, thankfully. So even though we're going to land probably way too quick, we should be able to stop. Okay, on approach to LAX, we're at 140 something knots. We can definitely land much slower than this. We got 30 degrees of flaps at the moment, which is full flaps in this plane. A little bit of trim. Approach is, feels pretty stable, pretty easy. Nothing uh, bad to note here so far. But let's see how my skill plays out because that's the real question let's see if i can put it down um right on the thousand foot marker here 130 knots definitely probably a little faster than we need to land let's see what happens here we go global 6000 our fifth most downloaded plane here we are oh yeah come on come on as always this plane is is feels great to fly as far as systems and stuff for pretty much all freeware planes except maybe the last one are going to be lacking this is about having fun more than anything and uh that was definitely fun okay our next plane we have an, a free an225 for a long time this is what i used in videos for the an225 it's not terrible the textures are very shiny i would say uh, definitely not nearly as good. Like, even look right there. Not nearly as good as the, the AN-225 in the sim. The current AN-225, I think, has some of the best textures of any plane, but pretty bad physics overall. Anyway, here it is. Um, as far as I know, this is not a port. Correct me if I'm wrong. I could definitely be wrong about that. But the biggest downside is... Do you recognize the cockpit? Do you recognize it? At least they got the color right. But this is a 747-8 cockpit. So, um, and it kind of, look, that, that's where it spawns you. As you can see, we're not on a seat. We're kind of on a, sitting on some buttons here. So if that doesn't bother you too much, it's a free plane anyway. And this plane, let me tell me how many downloads it has. This plane has 116,000 downloads. Uh, so anyway, let's fly it. Uh, let's see how the physics are. Let's do a full flaps takeoff. Then as you know, probably from watching my videos, the other AN-225 physics, I think are very disappointing. Some people would argue that it could take off from Saba with no headwind and get off the ground before the end of the runway. Some people would argue that. Are those some people uh, smart? I would say no, but. Parking brake off. And uh, let's, let's do a static takeoff. Let's just see how this performance is. We got full flaps, low fuel and payload. Release the brakes. Let's see. 100 and 
So you still needed like 120-ish knots to get off the ground there. The other one would have gotten off the ground much earlier than that. The uh, official add-on. But anyway, here we are. AN-225 in the air. You get all of the, you know, avionics and stuff of the 747. So I guess it's better than them making some and just missing everything. But, you know, overall, this is not going to be your most impressive freeware. If I was going to give this stars out of five, I'd give it like a... Compared to other freeware, not compared to all the planes in the sim, compared to other freeware, I'd probably give it a, a three and a half out, out of five. Compared to all the planes in the sim, it's another story. Anyway, let's take this AN-747. Uh, we'll do a little loop and we'll go land this thing. Loop it around, folks. Very aggressive bank angle. But don't worry about it. We're empty and we're a cargo plane. So we got plenty of power and lift in theory. I mean, but overall, if you're just going to maybe get screenshots or you do stories like I do, whatever the case, this AN-225 is good enough for that. If you want to do some stupid challenges, maybe. Beyond that, it's obviously not great. But let's see how it lands. And then we'll go on to number three. Let's see how decent this landing can be. Sometimes when they put a different cockpit in, your height above ground perception is a little bit thrown off by that. I don't remember if that's what this is like because I just downloaded it for this video. But we're going to find out in just a second here. 150 knots. Should be fine speed. We're a little off center. It's all right. 100. There we go. Not quite on the, uh, not quite on the markers there, but, uh, not the worst also. Speed brakes work. Reversers work. Everything works except the cockpit is underwhelming. But overall, not the worst mod ever. And next up is the free F-22 by, get this, Top Mock. So this is one of the rare, if not only circumstances where the number one payware maker of the plane also made a free version, which I think is really cool. Now this plane isn't the best. I'll show you guys why in just a, a little bit, but it's still cool that they made a free F-22 and this plane has 200,000 downloads. So clearly very popular. Anyway, let's show you all the cockpit. Uh, as you can see, buttons and everything are in the correct place, but, like, that's a little bit, you know, that's a little bit, you know what. So, another thing, stick, I'm moving this stick right now, and throttle are not animated. Neither are rudder pedals or toe brakes or, oh, the gear lever is. So, they chose to animate the gear lever, and that's about it. Anyway... Let's take this thing off and see how it is. So one of the glaring, not necessarily issues, obviously was intentional. I, I'm aware of that. One of the problems with this though is, let me know if you see it. Let's go full throttle here. Let's take off. And let me know if you notice the problem. Has anyone noticed yet? No afterburner. So you get no, this is kind of loud. Let me turn this down. You get no afterburner in this, which is one of the coolest things about flying a, a fighter in uh, in the sim, especially a sim that's more, you know, graphics oriented than anything else. Uh, we'll try a Cobra here. The Top Mach F-22, I think, has one of the best flight models, the, the payware one, mind you, of um, any fighter in the sim. It feels really good. So we'll try a Cobra here, and I highly doubt anything will happen. But usually I do it around 250 knots, so there's 250. There we go. We'll go nose down, idle throttle, pull back as hard as we can. And we're just gonna climb. We can try it at a slower speed too, and see if that makes any difference. And flaps are manual as well, which they're not manual in the other one, which is sometimes it's nice to have, uh, have them be manual, but that's a preference thing. Here we go. We'll try it at 100 and let's get a little quicker. Get rid of the speed brakes. We'll do 180 knots. We'll try. Nose down, idle throttle, pull back. And they're just gonna stall like that. So, sounds actually aren't bad. I know it doesn't have, like if you're supersonic and you put the camera in front, you'll still hear the plane. I tested that yesterday. And also there's no sonic boom as far as I'm aware. So clearly they, they made this so people would buy their other one more, which makes sense. But it's also nice that they gave people who aren't gonna spend the money a free F-22, even though it's nothing super special. This was, I believe the first F-22 I ever flew in the sim and uh, probably a reason I ended up buying the other one. But let's go land this thing back at Area 51 and then 
We'll move on to the second most downloaded plane in all of flightsim.to. Okay, coming for a landing in the free F-22. 180 knots, probably land around 140 maybe. I didn't even check how much payload we have, but it can't be a lot. Okay, 170 knots. Definitely coming in quick here. I'm not gonna hit our landing zone correctly for sure. But let's see how this goes. There we go. Not the worst, not the best. A little bit rough maybe. Get our nose down there. That was a little bit uh, abrupt to say the least. And there we go. That, my friends, is the free F-22. At number two, and my favorite freeware add-on in the entire sim, we have the wonderful C-17. I love this plane. We have an interior, as you can see here. And there's a, even an American flag there. A little spot for a guy to sit. And the textures are wonderful. Look at this, close up. Look at those slats. Engines look a little weird, I'm not gonna lie. Just the moving parts. Overall, this plane is wonderful. This is by far my favorite freeware plane by an absolute long shot. There's nothing to even there's nothing to even compare to it because there's no other C-17. Now, there's supposed to be another C-17 coming. Will it happen? I don't know. DC Design said they would, and it's not out yet. Anyway, let's fly my favorite add-on, or favorite freeware add-on. This plane, you've probably seen it in a million of my challenge videos. It is a ton of fun to do stupid takeoffs and landings with just because it has such great performance. Um, and there is full throttle. The HUD used to be so much worse and they're they're still updating it all the time so it gets better literally all the time that's another nice thing about this it's not whatever condition it's in right now it will only go up and we're at 9,000 feet of altitude by the way we're in colorado so definitely took a little bit of distance there let's get our gear up and we are off the ground in the c-17 one thing to notice or note this plane is very loud compared to other planes like like exceptionally loud louder than fighters so so Headphone users, beware when you load in with this plane. Okay, let's not crash here, first of all. So we're just gonna loop around as we've done in all of these and try to do a decent landing. We are a crazy bank angle at the moment. Going 200 knots. Let's get as much flaps as we can here. Slow down, get our gear out. And uh, let's see if I can... Honestly, I feel like my landings on these have been decent. It's been our first landing on every single one, and they've all been uh, they've all been all right. So let's try to land. 130 something knots, I think, is uh, is all right for a C-17. Here we go, folks. 140 knots. Get rid of some throttle here. <laughs> okay, that was a little rough. 20, 20, 20. Okay. We're on the ground, slightly rougher than I would have liked, but it is a C-17, so it'll eat that up without any kind of issue at all. Reverse thrusters going strong here, and there is a stop. This thing's performance with no weight is absolutely wild. So if you're watching this video, go in the description. All the links to these mods will be in the description. Go mess around with this plane with zero weight and see how it is. So 458 feet per minute, that's firm, but a C-17 will be all right. And now it's time for the number one most downloaded freeware plane in the entire sim. Let's go look at it. So number one, we just had a whole fiasco. I'll talk about that in a second. Is the Headwind A330. Our avionics are off. And we changed the state to uh, ready for takeoff in here. We tried a few things and nothing worked. Now I've had this happen before and it suddenly fixes itself randomly. I also used to have this happen in all of my Airbuses and I downloaded this one for a video and it didn't happen in this one. Do I know why? No, I have no idea why. If you know why in the comments, feel free to say it, but um, we're, Clearly our plane is on, everything's working, but our avionics are not working. It could be a different plane I have installed. It could be any number of things. I don't know what it is. Anyway, this plane has 550,000 downloads. It's very much loved. I used to dislike it because it made my game run really poorly for whatever reason. I used to get horrible frames with this. Now it's pretty much fine. I don't know if it's because I have a new PC or if it's because I don't know. Anyway, headwind A330, let's fly this thing with no, no nothing, no nothing. So we're just gonna, we're gonna fly this thing with eyes only for the most part and perception of speed, very dangerous. Let's add some flaps, that's probably important. One thing to note, listen. It has really good sounds. I really do love the sound. The sounds are great in this. 
Like runway, everything just sounds great. Let's see what gear sounds like. Ready? That's nice. I do like the sounds in this a lot. The sounds in this are better than the, the Latin VFR payware one. I won't lie. Anyway, let's do a loop around here. We'll see what's happening. Maybe I'll look up on the internet what could be wrong with this and uh, we'll go from there. Let me know in the comments. I'm sure someone knows. I rarely fly this plane, but this is the number one installed plane as far as I'm aware uh, in the entire sim and it's very loved. I, I do enjoy it. It feels good to fly. Uh, now that my game doesn't get framey with it, it feels nice as well. We are here in Paris. So let's go in for a landing. Let's see how it feels to land and then uh, we'll make some conclusions. Okay, let's try this landing. A no avionics landing. Ooh, a little bit rougher than I'd like. Let's get the reversers going. Center line though, that's good. Decent touchdown zone as well. Let's see how many feet per minute that was. Oh, 250. It just sounded like a lot. That's completely fine. That is a completely fine landing. And as I said, the, the audio is great from, whoa. Wait, what? Oh, okay, so I'm used to, wait, pause, pause, pause. I'm used to, I can't really show this on screen. Anyway, I have a button right here on the side of my throttle that I, I hold the button and then power back up to go reverse thrust. This plane by default, let me show you on the ground. I was, I was confused for a second there. This plane by default does reverse thrust at idle throttle. So see, I'm not touching anything. And then if I go like 50% throttle, let me find it. That's like idle. So that's by default. You can change that in the iPad. But um, so I, I held the button and went full throttle and it actually went full throttle and we just started to take off again. But um, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. There's the headwind A330. Uh, it usually works. If you know why it's the the avionics are not working for me, please let me know. If you install through the, a, through the headwind installer, you might have a better experience. I do know when all my Airbus avionics weren't working, when I did a clean install of the sim, they started working again. And the other day I just installed a bunch of my payware planes that weren't installed. So I think one of those is bugging with it. Anyway, these are the five most installed planes from flightsim.to. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button. If you hate me, let me know in the comments and um, take it easy.